Hi, I am Susan Marie Stanton and I am the coordinator for Virtual Tutoring. I will be explaining how you will log into your Virtual Tutoring using eLearning. So on the main website on the top right you'll see eLearning. Click on that and then you can log into Canvas. And of course if you've forgotten your password, click on Forgot Password. Log in. If you're not on your dashboard, go ahead and click on your dashboard. If you're enrolled in a math class, you would be able to see virtual math tutoring. Chemistry would see virtual chemistry tutoring. Physics would see virtual physics tutoring. And if you're in a writing emphasis course, you would see virtual writing tutoring. Once you click into the shell, then you can go to the tutoring conference. Now, if you want to know when our hours are, you would scroll down and see when we're open. So go to your tutoring conference. It'll pull up zoom.us. So if you don't already have the Zoom software on there, on your computer, you'll need to download it. It would automatically start downloading, usually on the bottom left of your screen. If not, uh, try to use Chrome. That one works the best. If you do already have the Zoom software, then it will drop you into Zoom. If you want to join audio, on the bottom left it says join audio. And you can join audio by your computer. Or you can have, or you can call in, or you can have the software call you. And if you want to start your video on the bottom left, you have a start video. I cannot start my video because I'm already using the video to capture the screen. If you want to chat with the uh, tutor without your microphone on the bottom of your screen, it says chat. So once you click chat, then you can start chatting. If you want to upload a file, then you can click on more, share file and meeting. So like if you took a screenshot and you saved it to your computer, you can then upload a file to the chat box. Then the tutor can click on it and bring it up in their share screen. If you want to write on the screen, on the top of the screen you should see a view options. And then you can annotate. And then you can draw on the screen. Or you can highlight. Or you can make arrows. Oh, got to click on arrow to make a big arrow. Otherwise, it's a little arrow with the draw. The best way to interact with your tutor is to have a microphone on your computer or a headset like I'm using. But once again, if you don't have it, you can chat in the chat box. Hopefully this helped you and when you're done with the meeting on the bottom of bottom right of your screen, it says leave meeting. It's in red and you can leave the meeting. There's the option to record as well. And you would request recording permission and you would do that verbally. Say, hey, may I record this and we'll allow it. It would record to your device as an MP4. Hopefully this helped. And if you have any more questions, just call me. A five zero four eight four ten twenty six. Leave meeting. And you're done.